Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about the geometry nodes which should be a replacement for the particle system in Blender and of course uh, similar to uh, the replacement for forest pack in 3D Max, right? I have a previous tutorial with this, which I show you how to replace that using the particle system in Blender but this is way more powerful uh, because it makes more sense it allows you to do lots of things and the possibilities are way way more than the particle system but by now I'm gonna just show you how to scatter the simple way the basic similar to forest pack right what I have in my scene in my scene I have collections with the objects I have collections with trees I have collections with shirts those can uh, by models that I have it in a collection with these two little rocks right two little rocks okay and then This landscape I had created using the using Blender landscape. Like Blender has a tool, so you can go mesh landscape. Where is landscape? Landscape, right? So you have your landscape here, and then you can set up different different things. Landscape. You can set up a uh, different size, you know, and your landscape is gonna be it's gonna be updated, right? Accordingly, let's say you can put four, and it's gonna be extended to four in axis x, right? Maximum subdivision, all of that. You can change your landscape, you can change your seat, everything. So that's that's pretty much how I had created this guy right and this guy has a good uh, it has a good size compared with the world and the trees on my on my scene so it's it, it's not good if you create a very small landscape as it gets ready for you create the landscape and then you scale up but make sure that you scale or you scale up in edit mode right or you scale up like this, like this or whatever, and then you press Shift A, oh, sorry, Control A, and then you apply the scale, which is the same as Reset X4. Let me bring my screen this here, so you guys may know what I'm doing, right? I'm gonna make this this interface better for geometry node because the node normally is horizontal and I don't want to mess around it so geometry nodes right so you have selected your object you press new so automatically it creates the tree whatever you're putting beyond them that's gonna that what's gonna show up here all right right so in this case you may go you may go like this you select the you press shift a oh it's not showing okay that's better you press shift a and then choose points right points to distribute right this means that it's going to distribute lots of points around your geometry which will be where each object will be scattered right so i think it's you increase the density and then it's going to increase the density of the points i think it's too much let's put zero one right for these guys and then i'm gonna start with maybe the shirts maybe the shirts right and i'm gonna set up maybe two and then I'm gonna go to another point which is instance so I wanna tell which 
what I want to instance, right? I'm gonna well, I'm gonna instance the vegetation shrubs. We have, so this basically is gonna scatter all, whatever I have in my collection called vegetation shrubs, right? It doesn't need to be visible in the viewport, but doesn't really matter, right? So you see, it scatters a lot, a lot of it, right? Maybe that's not what I want. Maybe that's too much. I think that's too much. I'm gonna do something like that for now, so we can see what's going on, right? But we still need to see the mountain. So let's put geometry. Let's join the geometry that we are creating, which is this, with the main geometry right so now we have our main geometry here and as well the other geometry we had created here right so we need to randomize for randomize you go to attributes uh, attributes randomize you put here nothing's gonna happen right but if you tell him what you want to why you want to go randomize scale so now you have your scale to randomize as much as you can minimum and maximum right we can do whatever we want and then we are gonna take this guy press shift D copy put it here and we are not gonna use a float value anymore but a vector because we want to do the changes in X Y Z right so instead of scale we put a uh, rotation rotation and then now whatever we do here it's gonna we X Y and Z the randomization the, in this case if we put 0 and we just randomize on Z axis you see but now it's taking the whole collection again we remove this so it's taking just each object right it's taking just each object from my collection let's go a bit further with this density tree maybe this tree is too much zero five okay i think i think now we are doing something good okay in the distribution of rotation we may want to let's randomize more here we may want to rotate a bit just a bit you know the other axis right so we have some random okay now we take this guys copy we put this we put this here right and we are gonna join these two geometries this guy and this guy now we have the same collection applied and put it all together if we randomize the seed so the distribution will be different we see what's happening right it's going to be distributed in different the points going to be different but the geometry is the same now we are not going to use this guy anymore and we don't need this density we want way less but but we're not going to use the collection shirts anymore we are going to use the collection trees right we're gonna use the collection trees vegetation trees so what's gonna happen it's gonna scatter all my trees all over the place here right so now we have our trees going on yeah, if we go to the camera we have our trees right and for those trees for those trees right we're gonna use the scale maybe one one and one point six maybe right so we have a good distribution we don't want to randomize that much like the shrubs on the other axis maybe just a bit right not too much so the trees is always facing vertical normally right that's good for the trees 
and we have a CD different. That's good. The scale, rotation. All right. Now we have rocks to distribute. And what does that mean? That means that we are going to copy another one. Oh, maybe put it here. Those ones we can close. We can close. Let's not take in too much space, right? Too much space. Let's make this less space, right? Okay. Now we go here. We bring it here. Do the same. This change. This is changing a bit. The join ge geometry is changing, is changing a bit in the new Blender version, we will be released in a couple weeks, which it would allow you to connect multiple nodes here, right? So you don't need to keep copying, copying, and copying. But the basic for you to understand the process is this, right? So let's do this. Okay. Anyways, node regular is not working as it should. Okay. And we change the seed, but now we don't want the collection, we don't want the trees anymore. We want another collection, which is rocks. And now we have our rocks being here, distributed here, right? I'm gonna scale up these rocks something like this maybe right something like this and minimum something like that right something like this and now we go here we can change the density of the rocks as well I think that maybe 2 is good or maybe Bit a bit less than that I think that's okay maybe 0 0.03 right and then that's all let's see how it goes let's see how it render would look like I hope it turns out well right let's see calculating everything hmm okay interesting right maybe I don't want that much rocks in my scene Maybe that's not something that I really wanted. Maybe even these rocks, the way the pivot is set it up is maybe is maybe too too much here. Let me show you. You see, the P4 is very much in, on, under the base, and maybe I don't want that, right? If I don't want that, I press uh, control point, and then I move the P4 a bit here. So when it rotates, it's not gonna be rotated. So we are not gonna see those gaps around the rock, right? Because that's not the ideal, right? If we render it out again, let's bring back the geometry nodes. I just want to add more trees. I don't know which is the tree. You can even you can you can even name that. For example, if you know that which is the instance, if you know this is a sure, right? You can always take this guy, select them, and 
put a group. I don't know how it calls. It's utilities uh, map range group layout layout frame. Right? You can put this and name this as a uh, this frame. You can name it as a uh, tree. Tree, right? And then whatever you put here, it's gonna be here inside this frame. So you have everything very organized. So you know this is the frame of the tree, right? That's good. So you go here, you know it's a tree. You're going to point you to your distribution. Maybe we put more. Maybe it's point seven. Right? You can do that for the rest. And yeah, let's see how it goes. After we change the pivot of the rocks, let's let's see how how it will turns out. The good thing is that everything is an instance, so it, you can copy multiple times and the render time will be, the render for the calculation will be the same, right? So because we change, you see, because we change the people of the rocks, we don't have the gaps going on anymore, right? We still have lots of rocks, maybe that's not what you want, right? But the rocks are not going like capping maybe in some areas still but not a big deal from this view you know it's not something that is making everything crazy bad or something like that right in my case I just put this sphere in the back with the sky which is it's not something that amazing but it's it's working for what for what I have it here for what I want right and if we wait until the render finish we will see there's a effect that I applied on the blender compositor which will take over the render after the render is done right so for example If we have uh, that thing going on, if you if we have the the render finished, and then we wait a bit, and then the compositor will take over this image, right? And making whatever I did in the compositor, which is applying the mist in the depth of field or something like that, right? So yeah, guys, it's pretty much that, right? That's the basic how to play around with the with the geometry nodes and you have lots of more options like painting on top of the areas that you want certain objects shows up and, and have more scale, less scale, the possibilities are infinite, right? But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed and keep going.